Imagine if you had a tool that would listen to what you have to say and then propose you the next interesting idea that you could think of. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate to you exactly that. A new recommender system for thinking built into Infranodus that represents the connections between all your different ideas and shows you how you could rewire them in a different way, providing you a live feedback on how you could connect your ideas in a different way. So you can find the new combinations and think of the things that you haven't thought of before. Unlike other recommender systems or AI algorithms, it's not based on replicating the past but rather on creating the versions of the future that would be different from what you've done before, but that would still be relevant to your thinking process. I'm going to show you how it works using an example of a text that I'm working on. So first of all, I will create a new graph inside Infranodus. Let's call it machine learning. And then once we open the graph, you can already see that the system is providing a recommendation that the graph is empty so you can start from adding a text, files or importing your data to start the analysis. So I can start writing or I can also import the existing notes that I have. So I can say that I am interested in applying machine learning to physical movement. This is just like a brainstorming session where I'm just writing my ideas into the tool and getting the live feedback. As you can see, I see how the thoughts are connected and the system is proposing me to think of a connection between uh, physical movement and machine learning. So what is it about physical movement and machine learning? Why am I interested in that? And I can answer this question and say that uh, I'm curious how we could change our movement patterns if we get feedback from an algorithm using machine learning. So I add this, as you can see the structure is becoming more complex and the system is proposing me to think of the next connection between the movement patterns and machine learning. So what is it, what kind of movement patterns I'm interested in detecting with machine learning? So then I can say, okay, I'm interested in uh, detecting whether the movement patterns have chaotic variability or whether they are homogeneous. Okay, so then it proposes me to inspect the graph and to check the essence tab in the analytics panel to reveal some interesting patterns. Movement pattern, machine learning. So what is it that I can enhance with machine learning? For instance, when we're thinking about heartbeat variability, we can use machine learning algorithms to detect chaotic itinerancy, which indicates healthy heart dynamics. Add this into the graph, we see that the system is proposing us uh, something very interesting that I want to point your attention to. So it says that our graph is too biased towards the following nodes, machine variability movement, and it proposes us to think how we could develop the ideas on the periphery. So machine learning here and movement pattern here. You can click on those rectangles to see uh, in which context those terms appear. So this is a very interesting point because uh, it demonstrates how the recommender system works. If your thought tends to get too interconnected, it will propose you to think of the periphery. It will propose you to make it more dispersed. If your thought is too dispersed, then it will propose you to focus on a few topics so you make it more coherent. In that way, Infranodus follows a sort of uh, non-equilibrium dynamic pattern where it assumes that in order to generate ideas, you sometimes have to be very dispersed, you have to think about a lot of different things. And then if you're thinking in that way for enough time to create a field of knowledge, then you need to start connecting stuff again so that you can create new interesting connections and that you can create a coherent discourse that would make sense to others. And once you go in that direction, then it's time to disperse again, to explore the periphery, to explore the different topics, to zoom in onto something and so on. So it's kind of like a never ending process of uh, applying different ways of thinking to developing your ideas. 
And this is exactly what is happening here. So here it's proposing us to think more of the movement patterns, not to focus so much on machine, but the movement patterns. So what movement patterns I'm interested in detecting? Or how could I detect them? For instance, I could read the time series of a movement using a movement sensor and then analyze its variability using, for example, a TVA algorithm to um, the trended fluctuation analysis, that is. So you see then it's proposing me to think, to inspect the graph again. I can click on the proceed button. So I follow the advice of the tool and it's telling me, okay, think of the connection between movement pattern and heart itinerancy. So what is the connection between these two terms? And you see it's quite interesting because they are in fact not so connected. And this is why Infranodus is proposing me to bridge the gap between those two ideas heart itinerancy and movement pattern. So what is the connection? Well, I can say that uh, there is an assumption that uh, just like in analyzing the heartbeat, if the dynamics is chaotic, it's healthy, we could also detect a healthy movement pattern if it's chaotic. So here we add it into the graph and then we click the proceed button and then the recommender system is proposing us to think of the new connections and so on. So you see there if we can also follow this advice to click on the main terms and to see where they appear, look at the structural gaps, then deselect the nodes and so on. So also it's possible to skip a few recommendations if they don't generate any interesting ideas. But I want to show you something that you might find interesting. So for example, after a while, the system is going to propose you to select some of the most uh, important nodes, words or terms that you use. So in this case, it's movement. We talked a lot about movement, machine and heart and then to remove them from the graph. And what it allows you to see are the nodes that are hiding behind those most obvious ones. And this is very interesting because then you're kind of getting rid of the stuff that you already know to see, okay, what I could focus on that I haven't thought of yet. And here we're, we're focusing on variability, analysis, pattern, chaotic. So for example, I could say, okay, I want to discover those topics more. Let's say time series, how it's proposing me here. So focus on the idea of time series and um, feedback algorithms for learning. So, okay, how could we analyze time series and learn something from it? Uh, maybe there could be live feedback on the time series of the movement. And if it's not chaotic, we receive a signal that we need to move in a way that is more chaotic and vice versa. So in that way, you see, I'm following the same logic um, as uh, Infranodus has, that if you go to one extremity, you might want to go to the other and the other way around as well. Then the system is proposing us to get the deleted nodes back into the graph and then to explore the new pattern that we created using these new ideas. And this is how it goes. So you can go on and on with this live uh, recommender system for thinking. And it will constantly provide you some interesting feedback on what you could be thinking next. Try it out on infranodus.com. It's new, so I would be very interested to hear your feedback and ideas. And I hope it will offer you interesting experience and help you develop some interesting ideas for your own workflows. Thank you.